Ooh. <laughs> All right, I'm home from the airport. I just wanted to show you guys this shirt that I am wearing. How cute is it? I don't know if you guys can see. It's in the mirror. Let's see if I can turn it around. <laughs> oh, gosh. No, you can't see. Or maybe when I edit, it will turn around. But, hold on, my phone's going crazy. All right, sorry about that. I had to answer a text message, but I wanna give a huge shout out to High Value Queens for this shirt. It says, I bring nothing to the table. I'm the table. And I feel like that's so fitting to me and my brand and my personality and who I am as a hustler, as you guys may know or may not know, okay? I'm all about that life okay this is the black owned brand her name is i think it's eunice shout out to my girl i think she's giving y'all also 10 or 15 percent off i don't remember off the top of my head i will put the code right here across the screen i got this shirt in a size medium for reference and yeah it fits really nicely if i put it all the way down so you guys can see i'm in my pajamas right now but yeah Look, this is a medium. Uh, I thought about getting this small, but yeah. When I come home from a standby, I always have to remember to put the things that are in my lunchbox in the refrigerator. And I'm going to debrief my lunchbox, pour a glass of wine since I'm on crew rest, and I'm going to finish Money Heist. I'm on part three right now. And so far, so good. So I'm also on a second book of a three-part series right now. The same author who wrote 28 Summers. So I'm back and forth with that. Sorry guys, I don't know where I left off because my roommate was up here and I was like, oh my God, let me put my camera away. So I went to New York and I got this fruit that I've only had in Israel. This is called a persimmons. And it's called a Sharon. They labeled it Sharon here. And it says product of Israel. So this is by far, I think, I will have to say my favorite fruit ever, apart from wine. <laughs> wine is my second favorite fruit. So these are almost, I think for breakfast tomorrow, um, before I go to the gym, I have a meeting tomorrow from 9.30 to 11.30. I'm gonna try and go to the gym before the meeting. Um, if not, I'm just gonna put my Zoom call meeting on mute and my video on mute and just work out while I'm listening to the meeting. But for breakfast, I think I'm gonna have a persimmons and a boiled egg, because this is almost done. Almost done, which I'm happy about. I'm going to, I'm almost done putting up the stuff out of my lunchbox. God, I need to eat one of these a day, these persimmons. Also, I got some mouthwash. It comes in this aluminum, I don't know if you guys can see, in this aluminum can. I figured this would be a great travel size for my luggage. I did not pack it, but I'm gonna throw it in my lunchbox so I can be prepared to have it um, for the rest of the days while I'm in the hall. I have some more hair ties because I've been wearing my hair up, down, all around. And then I love Jewish bread, so lots of Jewish bread happening i'm gonna put away and then i picked up this bottle of wine a couple weeks ago while i was in new york this is harvey and harriet it's a 4.1 from the vivino app so it's really good it's just a blend 14.9 percent alcohol so got my water got my box that my watch came in Get out of here. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna watch Money Heist and I'm gonna enjoy my glass of wine, take off my makeup, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't judge me, I'm gonna be wearing the exact same shirt tomorrow because I'm gonna run some errands. I have to drop off my prescription for my migraine medication and then I probably will um, work out in this shirt. I don't want to hear any judgment. Okay, I will take a shower when I come home from the gym. Okay, and you know what too? I find it easier that if you go to bed in your gym clothes, it's easier to go to the gym because all you have to do is just pop up, brush your teeth, and hit the ground 
running. So tomorrow morning, the only thing that I have to do is throw on some leggings with my cute t-shirt. So, cheers. <laughs> hey guys, this is day two of being on call. I went to the gym earlier today. I did not vlog. And what else did I do today? Nothing. <laughs> Um, I'm getting ready to do some food prep. I'm starving. I didn't eat breakfast. I actually made the sandwich that I made on airport alert yesterday. I ate that today before I went to the gym. I had leg legs today and I'm so sore. And I'm getting ready to pour a glass of wine, do some food prep, and um, see if they assign me anything to, for tomorrow which I should, I should know by 7.30 tonight. So right now it is 6.30, let's pour some wine here. Do this. Food prep is gonna be really easy. my very plain very healthy pasta um, it's just plain grilled chicken as you guys saw just the um, broccoli and just a, some noodles I just seasoned it all and yeah summer is around the corner so hopefully you know I can be quite lean for that summertime body um, and then I have to have my glass of wine because that's like my little treat to myself so I'm getting ready to finish money heist and i'll see you guys tomorrow so i left my camera at home so i'm vlogging from my cell phone right now but i just finished my full body workout at the gym and um yes i'm starving so the only thing that i've had before my workout was just this muscle milk um it kept me full for my workout i did 30 minutes of cardio and then i did about an hour a little bit over an hour of just full body just shoulders arms i did deadlifts legs calves you name it i did it um yeah look at this I'm not sure what's going on here twins um but anyway since i got my prescription finally for my migraines i'm gonna go drop my prescription off then i'm gonna go home and cook some lunch really and i am going to relax so last night at 7 30 i forgot to tell you guys that they released me um technically from duty so it's kind of like a fake day off it's a fake it's, it's a day off essentially and yeah so i'm going to spend it relaxing chilling eating and watching money heist which um, apparently I have, I'm on part three right now. I have to start maybe part four and maybe later today it'll start. So yeah, that's it. My boring life on call. So I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, and welcome back to the vlog. I think today is day three. I'm getting ready to go to the gym again because this is my life. <laughs> and I'm so sorry that I have nothing fun to report this is just a realistic vlog so this is what i'm wearing i just have on this hoodie zipper thing because it's freezing outside this is just a long sleeve crop top y'all have seen this in my pretty little thing haul these are my spanks these are the leather leggings i just have on a hat and i just have on some orange nike shoes and this is where i've been placing my camera i mean my mirror to take pictures when it's sunny like this in the daytime and this is all that i have to report i was able to drop off my prescription yesterday um and i have not picked it up so i'm gonna go pick that up today i have groceries so i don't need to go shopping i need to clean my room it is atrocious in there um yeah i just keep saying i'm gonna clean it and i haven't cleaned it yet so my skin is going a little crazy I'm not sure why that's happening i have two uh i have twin sisters on my face right now and they are being very disrespectful so i'm gonna work out 
And I promise when I get back home, I'm going to clean. I'm gonna do laundry in this room. It just gets messy so fast. Just, it would be easier if I just put the clothes back on the hanger, right? So let me get out of here, fill up my water um, canister, and let's get summer body ready. <laughs> I don't wanna be that one Still a million miles from you So I'm gonna let you go Possible sausage here, and I'm gonna make some broccoli. Then I have to go into the city last minute. Uh -oh, no. I don't wanna be that one. Still I'm What's nice about this impossible meat sausage is that it cooks really, really fast. So I like that. I'm gonna just steam this broccoli, grab a lid. And just let it steam in the fat from this and I'll have two slices of rye breaded <clears throat> for my carbs here if I don't have time to cook rice I'm gonna toast that and take all of this to go Monday I went into New York last night and didn't vlog I am having a play around with one of my wigs I am replacing the closure on one of them so um, I'm just making sure that I just sewed down the front part of the closures just to make sure that it that it fits on my head so I'm just gonna try right now. The closure is not all the way on. As you see, there's like a hole right here. It's just sewn on in the front. And the closure is from Yummy Extensions. Let's just see if this fits properly. I just want it to fit and not be like lumpy and bumpy and you know so far so good um yeah so normally I wouldn't do this normally I would have my stylist do this but I just figured that since I have all this free time So this morning I went to the gym and after the gym I had an OBGYN appointment. I needed to get some birth control because my period cramps are severe. I have moderate to severe. It's called dysmenorrhea. So I've been paying for you know a long time when I'm on my cycle. It's probably too much information for some of you guys but I don't care because that's the truth. So I'm in New York and um, I'm getting ready to go back to Jersey because I'm going to leave around uh, 4.45ish because I have dressage at 6pm and today is my first day off so this will probably be 
where I end the vlog really. I need to go get my car washed. I need to fix the situation that's going on with my face. It's like when I get on my cycle, my skin just goes crazy. Um, I just came back from Starbucks. There's a Starbucks next to my OBGYN office. So I got a coffee here. And yeah, I'm gonna eat some good food before I go to dressage because you burn so many calories horseback riding. And I'm gonna eat something, chill, and then head out there um, to Countryville. I don't understand why I have a parking ticket. I just not, I'm just now seeing it. I'm like, I paid for parking. What is this? <laughs> Story of my freaking life. So I'm just giving you guys an update. I'm vlogging from my phone because I keep forgetting to grab my camera which is blatantly in front of my face before I leave my house. So I don't know what the issue is. So I'm happy that we're doing something about this dysmenorrhea because your girl is suffering. I mean, I literally have to take pain medicine every two hours. So migraines and dysmenorrhea all within a week of each other. So I'm not sure when I'll pick up my camera again. I really want somebody at the horse stables to record a little bit of my horseback riding lesson. So I want to get that done. I opened up my term, my furlough letter yesterday. I just wanted to skim over it just to see what it would say. And yeah, I'm for sure, you know, furloughed as of April 1st until they pass the payment plan. So there's that. So I'm gonna stop rambling and I will see you guys later. <laughs> well guys, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I wanted to record some of my horseback riding lesson but there was really nobody to record it. I am just putting my hair in these plaits. I'm gonna put a wig on and I am going to go into New York. And I know this vlog has been crazy, inconsistent all over the place but I'm telling you when there's literally nothing happening in my life right now, there's nothing going on you know like and trust me i'm not complaining because this time last year right it was like like chaotic so i'm just putting my hair in these plots I have a meeting the new agent meeting at 9 30 from 9 30 to 11 30 and yeah that's it i haven't been in the office in a long time and i may want to you know since they recall the flight attendants back it's been difficult to pick up trips so I was, you know, I'm already packed and ready to go to pick up a trip for the weekend if something were to come up. So that would be really nice if that happened. So I'm going to vlog here. You guys can stick around if you want to see me put my wig on. I'm going to record that. I realized like the two big braids were, it was too bulky. So the smaller braids help out a lot. I'm just pinning these plaits to my head, guys. I'm wondering what my hair looks like underneath my wig. <laughs> A hot mess. <laughs>